And as soon as I touched it, it sold. So let me touch everything. Go touch all your inventory, guys. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Good morning, everybody, and happy January 30th. I wasn't going to vlog at all today. I actually scheduled my video that I, uh, my vlog that I edited last night, I scheduled it to go up on Wednesday because I thought, well, I have my live sale today, so that's a video. So I didn't want to do two videos in one day. Although I know a lot of people probably don't go back and watch the live sales. So then I just decided I'm just going to still just going to go ahead and stick with my schedule and film a vlog today because I've gotten so used to vlogging and it seems really weird for me to not spend some time with you every day. So I was like having withdrawals from you. I was having withdrawals and the my camera's doing weird things. But I'm here, it's morning. Um, I made my coffee from home with my cure, with no, with my um, Nespresso machine, which is, I'm telling you what, if you like iced coffee, I personally don't like the Nespresso for warm coffee. I don't think it gets hot enough, but it makes a killer iced coffee. Now I add, I use the, the Nespresso, the vanilla pods, um, and I put in a little bit of caramel syrup and then a couple, um, like a teaspoon of sugar. And then I use, I put a splash of milk and a splash of cream and then a lot of ice. And it's real, oh, and I add some amaretto flavoring. Not the, not the alcoholic version, just the flavoring. I love amaretto. So it's a, it's a killer thing. I think I've showed it before in a vlog, but it saves you a little bit of money. You spend the money on the Nespresso machine, but then you end up saving money in the long run. All right, I had three eBay sales overnight. We are gonna pull them. One of them is this cutie. Look how cute this little, this is a cast iron little trolley. Isn't that adorable? I think, well, here, let me show you. Let me get scrap. I, I mean, I have all these books here. Let me just grab a book. Look at that. See? That's just cute to use in your... This is Richard, Richard Carvel by Churchill. I don't know. So, th oh, this sold too. It's so funny because this has been listed for a long time. And I had it up there. We moved those bins up there. And then I moved it down here. And as soon as I touched it, it sold. So let me touch everything. Go touch all your inventory, guys. Touch it all. Maybe if you just pick it up and, and move it. Uh, like these really hard to find Relco, we, I think. So if I just move these over here next to this Santa, maybe that means they'll sell. So go touch it. Touch all your inventory. All right. And then I also sold this Christmas. This is a vintage uh, Mickey Mouse pillowcase that says ho, ho, ho on it. So those three things sold. And I'm going to get those shipped. Oh, here. Put them over here for now. I wanted to show you, too. I'm probably at some point, at some point, actually I did for my sale on Friday with Alex Chapter 2 Vintage Co. I pulled a few things that were listed on eBay. Um, I'm, I'm going to be going on some shopping trips because I've downsized a lot. but And I need to organize these shelves. But this is all of the current inventory other than the books and some linens that I have for my, 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 my business, my reselling business. So it's, it, well, that's all Christmas stuff down there. And see, I've got... I've cleaned out. Oh, there's my baby. What are you doing down there, baby? What happened, baby? We need to put you somewhere else, baby. I don't think Mark shoved you underneath that shelf. What are we going to do with you? Got to put you somewhere else. Thanks, Misty. I didn't like it on that shelf. Mark put me there. Here, we'll put you next to the uh, painting that Sugar Rich has painted of me and Brutus. Look, I got that. I didn't show that. I got that at the estate sale. Uh, that's an actual record that someone turned into a, a clock from Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's one of, one of the... Okay, anyway, I don't even know what I was doing. I'm so distracted today. I have a live sale today. 
Oh, I know. I was going to open this. But look at how cute this friend mail box is. Are you kidding me right now? That is adorable. It is from Lauren Ryan. And she lives in New Hampshire. So I'm going to open up this friend mail real quick. Do you know what else is super exciting? Well, at least it's exciting for me. So I'm sitting in, in my new mood space. Kind of looks like I've got... If I was up a little bit taller, it'd look like I was an angel with rainbow wings. All right, let's see what Lauren sent me. Let's shake it. Mm, I don't know. Lauren from New Hampshire sent me this. I don't want to cut into you, Cupy. How can I get you open without cutting into you? I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, Lauren. Oh, maybe I can. Hang on. Oh, I did it. I saved Cupy. Okay. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should do it this way. Hey, hi. This new tripod I got makes it nice because you guys can see it. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at this box. Look at how, okay, let's just take for a moment. Look at how beautiful this is. This is gorgeous. Oh my mercy. I'll raise this up while I read the note. It says, dearest sweet Misty, first and foremost, you are an incredible woman. You have such love and care in your heart and it shows in your videos. So thank you so much. You are so knowledgeable about many things and so grateful for all you have. So much fun watching you shop and talk about all the new merchandise you see from local crafters to the vintage you love so much. Missy, you have given so much of your heart to your fans, clients, customers, etc., that you have made such a difference in some of our lives. Finding you and watching your videos has helped me through so much depression, anxiety, and through many hard times. After falling ill and not being able to take care of all of my sweet children as a teacher, it has broken my heart. But finding you on YouTube, watching new and old videos has been such a help considerably. No words can express the gratitude I have for all of your sharing of good times and bad, and it shows that we're all human. If my letter can bring you joy, happiness, and thoughtfulness, and love for all you do, then I've done my job. I, for one, am grateful for your sharing of your family, Mark, Dad, Mr. Flipper Pants, Mabel, and your children. Your family is amazing, and I especially love seeing you all laugh and have fun. You are an incredible young lady, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. God bless you and your amazing family. Lauren. That, thank you, thank you. It, it's, I don't, I, you know, getting letters like this really does make you feel like you can be silly and fun and it's making, it's making somebody laugh and it's making somebody have a little bit better of a day. And if I can do that, then that makes it worth it to me. I'm sorry you're shaking around so much. I'm so sorry. I mean, move my hands off the table. Lauren, your words, thank you. I don't take compliments very, very well. I really don't. But I appreciate it. I really, really do. Okay. And she said, oh my God, those Halara leggings are to die for. I have on my Halara leggings today, and they are. They make you feel like your whole body's in control. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Especially when you're wearing leggings. Sometimes you don't feel like you're in control when you're wearing your leggings. Okay, she says, in clothes you will find many fun snacks to share with your family. Snacks? Snacks. I've also enclosed a clear bag with giveaways made by me for your customers. Vintage dominoes made into carefree necklaces. The pink package is a gift especially made for you. I do hope you love it. Again, made by me. There is a large package on top of the box. These belong to my mother-in-law and I can't bring myself to use them or sell them. I'm passing them on to you to do whatever you would like. God bless Lauren. Lauren. 
I have a sale today, Lauren. You're making me cry. I can't redo my makeup. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm look look. This is just beautiful. The way that this is wrapped. I'm gonna I'm gonna untie this. Oh, I just got my thumb caught in it because I I'm gonna reuse all of this stuff. And then you know if someone is a reseller and they receive my package and then they want to pass it on and reuse it. And that's good. Look, there's a Squishmallow sticker. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my. You all. Okay, it's on this cord. It's She upcycled a domino. Look at the cupie with a little key. Oh. That is a door. It's not, I don't have the right shirt on with it today, Lauren. Cause it's, I got kind of a busy shirt on today. You can't really see it. That is adorable. Who would have thought? You people and your crafting minds amaze me. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. So Lauren has sent, oh, where'd my scissors go? Oh, don't stab yourself. Although these scissors are not very, they're not very sharp. Look at this. Lauren has sent an entire bag of, look, domino necklaces. Those are made from a domino. <gasps> so there's one. She didn't say where she sells any of this stuff. Lauren, you need to let us know because I know that I'm going to get people that's going to be asking me. Look at that. It's like, like an epoxy orange. <gasps> and everyone is different. Oh, look at the angel in the key. That is really clever to find these items like this and then repurpose them. Those are gorgeous. <gasps> Y'all, you're good. You have a chance to win one of Lauren's creations. <gasps> oh, here. Well, I don't know if I should point my camera down or up. Do you want to see my face? Do you want to see? Oh, look at this. Man, somebody saved this? Hotel, motel, Holiday Inn. Again, Holiday Inn to me as a child, that's just like vacation. Do you know what I mean? We didn't, like we went to Michigan. We, we as a child, I didn't go to, I went to Florida for the very first time when I was in high school and that was with Mark's family. No, it was with another family. The second time I went was with, my mom now lives in Florida, but as a child, we never went on vacations like that. Cause you know, my parents were antique dealers and the weekends were, you know, doing antique sort of things. But that is cool. Where is that from? What does that say? It's a guest bag compliments of Holiday Inn. It's waterproof, it's dust proof, use it for wet bathing suits, soiled laundry, shoes, sweaters, toilet articles, cosmetics, hose, rubber shoes. We all got those. As a shower cap? You wanna put this bag on your head? As a shower cap, Holiday Inn? I don't know about that. Have any of you used it as a shower cap before? Or an ice bag? And for many other personal items, we hope you find it useful in your travels. Please come back. Shower cap, put your underpants in it, wear it on your head, put your rubber shoes in it. It, it suits many purposes. Okay, moving on from that. Look at, okay, so the, oh my, what? Lauren, okay. I gotta point the camera down. I'm taking the big package out, look. And we got more. What? They're all snacks. They're all snacks. That feels like a free, okay. Let me open up this, this one first because she said this one, the large package on top was some, that was her mother-in-law's. And she said that we can maybe find some, find a home for it or we'll keep it. Oh. Oh my, it's a wallet. Well, it's a, Lauren, you package things. I am like, you're making my little shipping 
my love of shipping heart proud, Lauren. Oh my mercy. <gasps> what hair is this? Is that from a cow? That's lucite. Is that, what, is that a horse? What is that? How do you open it? Oh my mercy. That is a vintage clutch with a lucite handle on it. Oh my, and then it's got matching little, is this a wallet? Pet you, animal, horse, cow, I don't know. That's a wallet. I'm telling you what, this was pro, I'm not seeing a maker on it anywhere. This was probably very expensive in its day. I'll have to do a little bit of research on it. This is like a little chain, or could be for keys. Again, it's that matching. Looks like just like a little little change purse. Are there brown? There are brown and white. Okay, we're not going to get into a discussion about what animal that is, but look at that. It's got like a little scene on it. And this one zips. Oh, it's a it's a little compact. There's some kind of writing there. I'll have to do a little bit of research on it. But wow. That is really, really cool. If any of you guys have any idea, let me know in the comments. That is that's that's pretty amazing. Oh my gosh, Lauren, I'm honored. I'm honored. I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You're a snack. Look at you looking like a snack, snack. Oh yeah. Sour Patch Kids, a favorite of mine. Oh my gosh. Oh look, Squishmallow friends. <gasps> Sour Patch Kid, what are these? Sour hearts. Okay, those are Easter ones and these are Valentine's Day. That's the difference. And then, oh, I love all this ribbon, Lauren. Yay. What's this? Oh, freeze dried. Freeze dried ice cream. That's going to have to be tested. I have never had that. I, you know what? My grandma used to work at the Smithsonian when I was a kid and she would send little care packages home from the Smithsonian and there would be like the astronaut ice cream. I'm wondering if that's probably similar to that. I'm going to say, let me know in the comments. Do you like the camera angle like this when I'm doing friend mail? Just we're, we're figuring this out. Ooh, oh, I love Pop Rocks. Oh, I love, oh, these are sour Pop Rocks. I love weird candy like that. I've recently, look how pretty. I've recently discovered, rediscovered my love of Pop Rocks. Squishmallow stickers. Lauren, I am, it's, I mean, you, the way that you've wrapped this stuff, it's so lovely. Ooh, sweet tart. Yum. Love. I love candy. Oh, this is a bit freeze dried something in here. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. What is this? What is this? What is this? <gasps> freeze dried pickle fruity crunchies. I don't know about that, Lauren. I mean, I'm going to try it. Pickle fruity crunchies. Are they, oh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll we'll try it here in a minute though. Lauren's like, I'm gonna send her something that's gonna make her make a a face. More squishmallows. Oh, ooh, airheads gum. I love sour stuff. Oh my gosh, Lauren, this probably took you an hour, three hours to wrap. That's so sweet. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. 
That there is a freeze-dried ice cream sandwich. It's a little mini one. Yes, oh, those are my favorite. They're so good. If you can go out and get you a freeze-dried ice cream sandwich, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Ooh, Warhead Hearts. Yum. Oh my gosh, there's more freeze-dried candy. I'm obsessed with the freeze-dried candy. Nobody else really likes it but me in my house. Emma, Emma tried it for the first time when she was here this weekend. She didn't like it. I'm like, okay, more for me. <gasps> That's a freeze-dried Twinkie. Freeze-dried Twinkie? Look at that. Where's all the cream? It's freeze-dried out. He freeze-dried the cream out of that. Two more little bundles from Lauren. And they both feel like freeze-dried candy. <gasps> yes! My favorite. Peach rings. Freeze-dried peach rings. Where are these from? The Candy Closet Peach Rings. They are in Signal Hill, California. Yum. The last little bundle from Lauren. Feels like freeze dried something. Oh, yay! Two bags. Two bags of peach rings. ASMR. Well, you'll get some ASMR. Let me move you down again. You'll get some ASMR here in a minute when I'm crunching. Lauren! Look at all this. I will reuse this tissue paper too as filler when I fill the voids and things. That, Lauren. That's a lot. That's special. Now, I'm not going to try the peach rings because we've, we've tried them before. They are so good. These are my favorites. The peach rings are fantastic. Look at all this ribbon. That's a gift in and of itself. Okay, so we'll we'll do the we'll do the pickle ones last. But this is freeze dried ice cream, caramel swirl. This is Bog Mountain Retreat and Sweets. Is where that one's from. Caramel swirl. Some of you were like, Emma, see, we don't care. But, oh, there's their QR code. There's their QR code. But you know what? You can fast forward through this part, I guess. I'm gonna take a little bite. This is caramel swirl freeze-dried ice cream. I don't know. See? I about dropped it. I prefer this over actual ice cream. Real ice cream hurts my stomach because I'm lactose intolerant. When I ate that the other freeze-dried ice cream, it doesn't hurt my stomach and I love it. That is really good. It very much, freeze-dried has been around because this is what the astronauts, that's what the astronauts use or eat, I think. Anyway, okay. I'm not going to open up the ice cream sandwich either because I have tested these before and it's amazing. We are going to try the Twinkie. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I'm going to think this is going to be pretty hard. It tastes just like a Twinkie. I mean, I don't know that I would purposefully go out and like actively seek this like I do the peach rings and the ice cream's pretty good. And I know some of you like, that's just an old stale Twinkie. Someone sat outside and let it get real hard. I don't know how to describe it, but it's good. Okay, I don't know about these, Lauren. Pickle Fruity Crunchies. And there's a lot of them in here too. Why couldn't they put those in this small little bag? I don't know about these, Lauren. I'm just going to be honest. Oh. When did 
pickle things. The, the pickle flavor thing, that was pretty hot. I didn't know that they had pickle candy. Okay, I'm gonna be brave. Pickle fruity crunchies. I mean, I don't know. They're sweet, it's not sour. It's not sour like a like a pickle. It has a faint pickle taste here. This one's a little bit more green. We'll try this one. It's like you immediately get pickle. And then once you chew it, I'll take these home and we'll have Mark try these later too. When you start chewing it, you're like, that's pretty good. surprisingly good it's just that first you get that first hint of pickle showing mark all of the freeze-dried candy and he is going to try, try the ice cream first oh you're gonna try the ice cream first i didn't know you were even gonna try the ice cream but go ahead you do you want to try the, tw the twinkie too i took a little bite of the twinkie yeah, good. okay you can try the twinkie you can't have this because this is my favorite Okay, this is the ice cream, freeze-dried ice cream. It's good. Like, I don't want regular ice cream now. I just want freeze-dried. I could be an astronaut, Mark. You could be an astronaut. <laughs> I could live in space. Oh, wait, no, you go try a Twinkie next. I have my little bite. Maybe I want Twinkie. Maybe you want Twinkie? Okay. It's, it's interesting. You had some? I had a little bite of it, yeah. How? On, because I opened it oh, on that right. end. You can have it by on the other end. Look, Mark is... Wait. Oh, go ahead. It tastes just like a Twinkie. But with cr but a crunchy tw Twinkie. I don't think I like that. Now, look, Mark's shirt says it all. He's really excited to be here. So these are the pickle. I I interesting. That's all I have to say. Maybe you want pickle? So what are what were they? I don't know. They look like Skittles. Yeah. It's like you taste the pickle right away, but then it's sweet. It's, it's not just, bad. At, at first it's like pickle. But then it's sweet. Like And then it's like Skittles. Yeah. It's it's odd because like your brain is telling you that you're not gonna like it, but then you're like, wait a minute, I do kind of like it. It's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. You like it better than the Twinkie? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, good job, Mark. Mm -hmm. Lauren, this was so special. Thank you so very much. You, you touched my heart with your sweet words. And I'm going to do some research on this horse, cow. Do they have cow, do cows? Are cows this color? And we'll see. But that is beautiful with that lucite. I wonder if it glows. We'll have to see if it glows. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank you so very much. That was very, very sweet of you. I really appreciate it. All right, I am going to, I have to ship those orders. I haven't done that yet. And then I'm probably going to um, start hanging up some of these clothes that I have to film. I'm gonna film some videos this weekend for the Misty Show because I'm way behind. So maybe by the, by the time the weekend comes that I'm filming it, the wrinkles will be out of the clothes when I try them on, but okay. I'm gonna clean up this mess and then get to hang up these clothes. All right, so I got the everything shipped and I cleaned up my mess from the friend mail, but I'm not gonna go through the box of linens. I have a meeting in 15 minutes, but I'm going to pull one of these boxes. Uh. Oh, we'll, we'll pull this one. Can't be... Oh, you can't even see it. Let me zoom out. Maybe this one. I'm going to pull one of these boxes. It can't be one that's too full because... Oh, there's some... What is that? The devil? That's the devil. El Diablo. Where are these matches from? I don't know. These are... Oh, look. These are all in some of Dad's boxes. But, I can't get that one open. But I need, I'm going to go through one of these boxes. Maybe we'll do this one. Oh, 
and um, we'll see what's in this box of mystery because I got to start sorting through some of these things. And what better than do it? Try to do it today because I have a vamp sale on Thursday, and I could maybe put some of these little tiny treasures in there. So I'll put this right here. After uh, my meeting, I hope, gosh, I hope I have time. If I don't, then I don't know, but I wanna go through this box and we'll go through that together. But for now, I'm getting ready to have my meeting and then I have my, well, hopefully I can do that box and then we have the live. So I don't know how long the meeting's gonna last. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm scatterbrained today. I'm, I am, I'm really scatterbrained today. So it's probably gonna be a very interesting. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Gosh, see? It's sitting right here in front of me. Our affirmation card. What time is it? Okay, we've got time. It's 11.40 or 10.43. My meeting's at 11. Oh, you're too far down. Okay. A year of positive thinking. We're going to do this one first because that's what we've been doing lately. All right, today is the 30th. Is there 31 days in January? Oh, gosh darn, there it is. Today's the 30th. Be done each day. Finish each day and be done with it. You have done what you could. Some blunders and absurdities no doubt crept in, as they always do. Forget them as soon as you can. Tomorrow is a new day. You shall begin it serenely and with too high a spirit to be encumbered with your old nonsense. That's from what Ralph Waldo Emerson. So if you've made him, if you if you screwed up, I don't think that Ralph Waldo Emerson would say it in that way, but I'm going to. If you screwed up and you made a lot of mistakes, accept it, be accountable for it, and then move on. And tomorrow is a new day and of new possibilities. And again, there are things that you can do. Listen, if you wake up in the morning and you, you're, you can trick your brain into, you know, if you wake up in the morning and you're kind of feeling a little down, but if you can like, when you, when you stretch and get up, maybe after you've had your coffee, you can look in the mirror and just go, yes, yes. And your brain is like, what? We're excited. What are we excited about? It doesn't know that you were like, maybe had a crappy experience or, you know, if you, you can kind of trick your brain and that will help put you more in a positive headspace. Give it a try. It does work. I do it quite often when I'm having a bad day or if I'm just in a bad headspace. All right. This is our happier me affirmation cards. Ooh. I am enough. That's a good one. Compare to no one. We all have our own journey and our own rhythm. It's okay to want more from yourself, but be gentle with yourself in the process. Be your own supporter rather than your own enemy. It's okay to be a hype girl for yourself or a hype guy for yourself. Do you know what I mean? And you are enough. In this world of the internet, the internet is a very good thing in many aspects, in many ways, but it's also a very negative thing because we're constantly comparing. I do it. I do it all the time. I look at other people's like Instagram feeds and I'm like, oh my God, that looks so good. And mine doesn't. And <clears throat> you, you see, <clears throat> sometimes you see what other people are bringing to their live sales or you're seeing their hauls and you're like, find that stuff but then there's people that look at my content and probably think the same thing so comparison is a thief of your joy don't compare yourself to anyone because the things on the internet are not always true they are fluffed do you know what I mean so not everybody has a spotless house some of us have kitchens from 1973 that have never been remodeled with the same countertops and cabinets that are falling apart and know where to store things. But you know, we do what we can. And you are enough. 
I think that's going to be a good one to send to somebody. Okay, I'm going to, uh, we got 10 minutes before my meeting. So I'm going to make sure that my camera and everything is all set up. And hopefully I will see you in a few minutes. If I have to do that little box tomorrow, then we'll just have to do it tomorrow because we kind of did the friend mail and that was a lot. And that might be too much of a thing to do. But that's the kind of thing that I'm wanting to do. The weekends when Mark, when I have help and I can move things around, that's going to be like the big stuff. But the things that I can do here by myself in order to go through things, I mean, we can handle that. I don't need to, you know. I don't need to move furniture around necessarily, although I have moved things. I moved that cabinet by myself, and it's in two pieces. I had a, uh, Anyway, I still haven't hung any of those clothes up. It is a scatterbrain day if you're going for a ride, because that's the way my brain is feeling right now. Okay, I got to get ready for this meeting, but I'll be back. Okay, just got done with the sale. It was a wonderful sale. Thank you guys so much for coming tomorrow. I will ship everything. I'm also going to get some listings up and get things ready for my sale with Alex on Friday. But I'm going to show you, I just turned the lights off. I don't know why I did that, but I've got, this box is full of cupies. I've got all kinds of fun little tiny treasures that are going to be available. My live sale Thursday, 12, no, Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern over on Virtual Antique Marketplace. I'm going to stream it on YouTube as well. But if you want to participate in the sale, then you will need to be watching from virtualantiquemarketplace.com. It's free to be a member. You don't have to pay anything, but you need to register as a buyer. So um, go do that so you can come to that and you can, you know, you, you're, you're all good. You don't have to register anymore. You are all good every week. And I am going to do sales every week, Thursdays, one o'clock on VAMP. So make sure that you are a member. And there's going to be some, some other things coming on VAMP. I'm not going to say anything right now because we're still ironing out the details, but be on the lookout for a great announcement, a big, huge, fun announcement for VAMP. That's going to be coming very, very soon. I didn't get to the little box today. I will come in and I will do that tomorrow. I don't even know why I even said I was going to do it because I this video is probably already long enough. But we're going to go through at least one box tomorrow. I'm going to leave it right there so I don't forget about it. I am. I have to run something up to Jaden. And then I'm going to go home, make dinner, edit this video, and get ready for my favorite day. Favorite day. Well, I have several. I'm going to have several favorite days this week because I'll be shipping tomorrow. I'll have another shipping day on Friday morning and I'll have another shipping day on Saturday. Gonna be a busy week. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlog. I really do appreciate it. It's just, I just, I didn't, I wasn't gonna vlog, but then I started missing you. So I wanted to vlog so we could spend some time together. So I will see you in the next vlog. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure that you're subscribed. Double check, double check. Okay, I'm glad that you are subscribed. And if you just subscribed, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Hello friends, thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the Virtual Antique Marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And I will see you in the next one.